All right, here's something that uh, I worked on today that uh, Illusion recommended that I try. And he said if you can find some little chokes, little tiny chokes, uh, and put them side by side, you can make one of these uh, blocking oscillator circuits with it. So if you've ever taken one of these CFLs apart, there's a circuit board inside like this. And on this circuit board, hunt for bright green looking like resistor kind of things or these black things here that look like a, a coil kind of thing those are inductors and I made this circuit right here using a pair of those uh, bright green inductors I don't even know what value they are and parts from that circuit board and that's all that is is parts off of that circuit board right there these three here different CFLs and uh, I dinked around with all different kinds of things. Um, I, the transistor was the hardest because I didn't know how it was wired. And what was it, NPN or PNP? And I finally found a way that it worked. But uh, it made a blocking oscillator out of this thing. And it actually worked pretty darn good. And Illusion was the one that uh, said to take the two inductors and put them side by side. And they'll act like that one transformer that's in a normal blocking oscillator or a jewel thief, if you want to call it that. And anyway, it worked pretty darn good. I was surprised. And I took the uh, one of these garden light things here, which is uh, one of these. You get them at the dollar store. Dollar Tree had these Halloween ones for a dollar. And they actually are pretty darn good. And it has a battery in it and an automatic on-off circuit. And for a dollar, you couldn't build this. You couldn't even find the parts for something like that. But anyway, it, it's got some real neat stuff in it. I took the battery out. That's a fairly nice little battery in there, too. And I just connected my clip leads to that to run this circuit. I'm just going to tip this up toward the window out there. And there goes that circuit. Drawn about uh, 20 microamps at that point right there. And uh, I had to play around with pulling these parts off the board and just trial and error until I found a combination that would blink this the way I wanted to off of that solar cell there. But it worked. And Slayer, or, uh, Slider was the one that uh, first showed that. He made a neat little circuit board using a couple of these inductors. And I just thought that was so cool, so I spent all day trying to replicate it with what I had on hand, which were these circuit boards right here. And those circuit boards contain the components to make one of these blocking oscillator circuits. It's the penny circuit. If you go back in my uh, videos, you'll find the penny circuit. And by the way, the penny oscillators are doing fine. They're uh, blinking away here. And I've got penny number two now hooked up to one of these... Uh, IV pointless stovetop cells and I'm checking that voltage every day too now to compare the two and see how they're they're both working and uh, this thing here the first one penny number one is still higher than the voltage when it was new and I, I still don't know why when I was gone for that five days the voltage on this thing uh, uh, went up and uh, it did, and it's just stayed there. It stayed higher than when the, the cell was brand new, and I've checked it with several meters to make sure it was accurate. And it gets cold at night, and it goes down, then during the day it gets hot, and it goes back up again. And it's hovering right around that uh, one volt, which is the same way this one over here is doing, penny number two. Uh, this thing here that I built, this is still working, and it, it uh, comes on and goes off every night automatically. And uh, it's about 0.9 volts. The differential in the metals this is stainless steel and magnesium. And on these cells here, it's copper and magnesium. So the differential isn't quite so good. And uh, anyway, that, that seems to be working pretty good, that thing there. Anyway, I'm, I'm still exploring these uh, combination of the oscillator with the uh, crystalline cell. And... Uh, now that i found out there's another way to make these little blocking oscillators just using chokes, you could make this very, very small. In fact, the circuit in here draws uh, 7 milliamps is all that draws off of that uh, 1.5 volt uh, or 1.2 volt nickel 
a cadmium NICAD battery is what that is and uh, so you could even just take the guts out of that and probably if you had a, a strong cell you could just take that whole light right there and just use that and not even build one of these things but anyway I thought this was a lot of fun here to just take one of these and get it to run on just the solar cell pointed at the window <laughs> and if I hook this up to a volt and a half that gets really really bright and it runs anywhere from uh, a few milliamps all the way up to 30 milliamps all the way down to about uh, 20 or 30 microamps when the resistance is high on the base anyway if you get a chance uh, take one of these CFLs apart carefully and there's a wealth of parts in one of those things and they have, still have these at the dollar store, at the 99 cent store where I'm at. So um, something worth doing. And these things here, if you can find them, you can't beat that for a dollar. Anyway, thanks for watching. <coughs>